Picture a battlefield where two of the world's most advanced missile systems clash for supremacy. The US-designed Atakums, with its precision-guided strikes, faces off against Russia's powerful Iskander, a symbol of strategic might in modern warfare. As the conflict in Ukraine unfolds, the question remains, which system will secure dominance in long-range strike supremacy? The MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System, or Atacams, is a supersonic tactical ballistic missile designed to deliver powerful impacts with high precision. This missile is launched using the highly mobile M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, or HIMARS, providing operational flexibility with a range of up to 300 kilometers in its latest variant, such as the M57. Atacams comes with various warhead options, including the M39 equipped with cluster munitions for attacking wide areas with submunitions, and the M57 A1 featuring a high explosive unitary warhead for pinpoint strikes. Utilizing GPS and inertial navigation systems, this missile achieves a circular error probable of less than 10 meters, making it a reliable weapon for destroying high-value static targets such as ammunition depots, radar installations, and command centers with minimal collateral damage. Its advantages also include rapid launch capability and programmed targeting, enabling Atacams to execute precision strikes while minimizing exposure to enemy counterfire. The 9K720 Iskander is a mobile theater ballistic missile system currently deployed by Russia in the conflict in Ukraine. Capable of striking targets up to 500 kilometers away in its domestic configuration, the Iskander is designed to deliver a range of warheads, including high explosives, thermobaric munitions, cluster munitions, and even nuclear payloads. The Iskander employs an advanced guidance system that integrates inertial navigation, Russia's GLONASS satellite system, and terminal phase radar or optical targeting fine-tuning its trajectory in the final moments before impact. While its circular error probable is estimated at 10 to 30 meters, less precise than the Atacams, the Iskander compensates with its exceptional maneuverability during flight. It performs high-G terminal phase maneuvers and deploys decoys to evade interception by air defense systems such as the Patriot or S-300. Furthermore, the Iskander's ability to strike moving targets, such as armored vehicles or advancing convoys, makes it a more versatile tactical asset compared to the Atacams, which is optimized for fixed targets. The combat capabilities of both missile systems in Ukraine are significant. Ukraine's use of Atacams is surgical, targeting critical Russian infrastructure to maximize the impact of their limited supply. In contrast, Russia's larger Iskander inventory, estimated to be in the hundreds of operational missiles, enables sustained and varied missile operations. The mobility of the Iskander allows rapid deployment to the front lines, enabling surprise strikes on Ukrainian military installations, power grids, and transportation infrastructure. Its ability to deliver non-nuclear strategic strikes has had a psychological impact, demonstrating Russia's capacity to project power and escalate the conflict. However, Iskander strikes have seen diminishing returns as Ukraine's air defense network, supported by Western systems like NASAMS and Patriot batteries, has adapted to intercept these missiles more effectively. Ukraine is estimated to have received fewer than 50 Atacams from the United States, and with such a limited supply, careful target prioritization is required to effectively disrupt Russian operations. On the other hand, Russia's larger Iskander stockpile allows for broader and more frequent strikes, offering flexibility but also risking overuse, which could deplete its arsenal in a prolonged conflict. 
In conclusion, the Atacams and Iskander systems represent two distinct approaches to long-range missile warfare. The Atacams, with its pinpoint accuracy and strategic value, acts as a force multiplier for Ukraine, enabling it to strike key Russian targets despite its limited numbers. On the other hand, the Iskander, with its versatility, maneuverability, and larger inventory, allows Russia to maintain a continuous missile campaign, although its effectiveness is increasingly challenged by Ukraine's improving defenses. As the conflict progresses, the performance and strategic deployment of these systems will play a crucial role in shaping the tactical and strategic dynamics of the war in Ukraine.